Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okutaya here at ITW 2019 in Atlanta this year. Joining me is my good friend, Mr. Frank McDermott. He's the CEO of ARM Data Center Software. Frank, welcome back to JSA TV. Hey, thanks for having me again, Jamie. Oh, we are honored, and it is a great day for you. Hot news. But first, for our viewers who might not already know, can you tell us a little bit about ARM Data Center Software? Well, ARM Data Center Software came about three years ago, and we started out as a professional services firm. But the first question we always got was, once you solve our problems, how do we keep those problems solved? And that's where Karma comes in, and especially the announcement that we have today. Karma is our secret sauce that uh, basically fixes the network, keeps it fixed, and serves as basically an automated uh, revenue assurance and expense control program. All right, so break down Karma for us, especially the new features that you just announced. Um, Karma started as a network inventory platform, but a network inventory platform that exists in a vacuum doesn't really help you a whole lot. You can't make decisions in context. So we brought in all of the revenue and sales um, piece of the business, as well as the expense and uh, those kinds of controls. So now when you look at something in the network, you know it should stay in the network or you know it should get out of the network. That way you can manage capacity, manage your costs, preserve your margin. Wow, sounds impressive and a new layer of transparency that we just haven't seen yet on the market. Is that true? It ha it's very new because traditionally in telecom we have a very siloed approach to our systems. Right. That fragments data, that reduces the quality of data, and that creates the gaps where things fall through the cracks. And I've been talking a lot about, uh, uh, it's, it's funny, I had a client uh, chat the other day and they were talking about how uh, globally we need a system of, of network uh, solutions and interconnections where we're able to really uh, have the same level of functionality and, and global usability that we do for IT services, for example. People just want to click and, and receive these types of uh, services and mm -hmm. your software sounds like it's a step forward there. Very much so and especially in terms of five, uh, 5G rollouts. Mm -hmm. We need a tool set that can actually handle a tenfold increase in the fiber that we need to put into the ground to serve 5G. And the aggressive timelines that people have put forward are going to require a tool set that can keep up with people and all of the designs, all of the engineering, and then especially all the provisioning and then billing uh, for 5G. And you mentioned uh, ARM, past three years, so much growth. But in the last 12 months alone, tell us a little bit about some of your achievements. The biggest achievement is getting Karma out and available for everyone to use as a SaaS platform. We can stand up an instance in as little as 15 minutes for a user. The important thing there is that we want users to be able to see their data, see their network inside Karma so that they can interact with it. That way they can decide whether it's really the right fit. We're pretty sure it's going to be, but then the best part of that is there is no commitment to Karma. It's a 30-day, you know, just simple monthly recurring um, uh, cost per user. And bring as many or as little people as you like. Try it and see how your data performs inside the best platform out there. And one of the top features that I found interesting in your new uh, release that's uh, out today, as a matter of fact, um, First off, how quickly you can turn up in a matter of minutes versus days and months. It should be as easy to get a network inventory platform as it is to buy Office 365 or get an iPhone application. It's just as much engineering goes into those. We need to make it available and we need to evangelize that data so that everybody in the business can see it. Everybody in the industry can see it again as they're working to the, towards those 5G rollouts. And again, I, I'm hearing it. It's out there. People are demanding it. We're, we're bringing it to them. Now, one last question I had for you on that press release. You mentioned something called Guru. Tell us a little bit more about getting some guru in karma in our lives. Guru is uh, what we've decided to call our impact and mapping engine. So we, since we design every circuit directly in karma and we bring all of the outside plant, inside plant, and logical services into one design, we can automatically pull that all together into a graphical representation on a map and show you where that circuit goes, what is impacted at any level of the network. So if there's a maintenance or an incident at a data center, 
at a rack on an individual box or a port, we can tell you which customer services, which network services, and which customer services writing those network services are affected. That's really amazing. Very impressive. Where can our viewers go to find out more information? Go to armdcs.com slash karma. armdcs.com slash karma. Karma spelled a fun way, C-A-R-M-A. -A. Um, so uh, good thing to note, and uh, we'll make sure it's written right down below here. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you, Frank, for joining us. We love having you on JSA TV. Appreciate your time. And thanks for tuning in to JSA TV here at ITW. Happy networking.